Okay, for those of you who have been with us since the uh, last episode, um, you'll know we got dropped pretty hard, so we're 570 <laughs> today. Um, as you can see, we're kind of destroying them. Um, so yeah, I mean, I might have, to, I might actually have to attack that, uh, just because like there's nothing here, there's nothing here, there's very little here. So these these two towers. So basically, there's literally only three things I can attack. So, um, I guess we'll just get in there. Uh, but before that. Uh, I'm gonna show off a few characters that I recently got geared. Um, they're not geared very well, mind you. Well, okay, uh, one of them isn't, but my Charles. Uh, so behold, this is the Charles build I'm running now. Uh, he's doing garbage damage, but I wanted to test him out on this counter set because for one, I at least now he's on counter, uh, and for two, um, I want to see uh, how good he does, like. I want to make him kind of fast, so we have a speed boot here. Um, basically, he's here to give out the, the the attack buff to... On one of my teams, I have him, um, Arbiter Vildred, and the uh, Lilius, right? Uh, and basically, I want him to eventually outspeed my Arbiter, which my Arbiter is going to be... I want him to hit like 190 speed, uh, and then have him be like 220 speed. Uh, so he goes first, gives the Arbiter the two-turn attack buff, so if he gets the Alexis proc into the uh, double... And to the greater attack buff, it'll be a greater attack buff for two turns, so it makes it really hard to hard to deal with. Um, and then, of course, the Charles. For one, if you focus on the um, if you focus on the Arbiter, uh, you're gonna have the Charles to contend with for one for the Albrus, and two if you end up AoEing. At least he's got the the counter set, uh, and finally he's fast enough to hopefully um, to hopefully force you into dealing with him. Um, the problem being that he probably isn't gonna do enough damage. Uh, but that's what that's what I kind of my point is here is like Charles is no longer going to be a solo sort of artist like he's not going to stand out as much anymore uh, but by building a team comp around him like the damage can be carried by the Arbiter Vildred uh, where hopefully Charles is irritating enough uh, in that scenario to make up for that uh, but today we're going to test out the uh, counter set I have on him and see how he does I uh, recently geared my maid Chloe. Oh no, actually no. Okay, never mind. I was gonna test her out, but then I forgot uh, this helmet, and this is not completed yet. Um, so never mind. Scratch that. Uh, who else might test out uh, Araminta? I put some gear on her. I still don't have an artifact because I was running that little. Uh, there's like a water artifact you run on her. I might just put Shaddy on her just to give her survivability. Actually, I might put Caladra. Where is it? That's a Caladra. Because uh, hopefully she's going to be debuffing. But yeah, so we're, we're showcasing my uh, Araminta. She's not the fastest, but uh, one around 150-ish speed is kind of interesting uh, for how much uh, damage I'm getting out of uh, these. I wanted her to have some survivability, so she's bought both lifesteal uh, as well as a, a health ring. Pay attention. Don't pay attention to this health ring. Um, it should be health percentage. I just boosted this a while ago. Uh, take, I just got to experimenting, uh, and I haven't like I haven't gotten a ring with better subs on it with a percentage um, main stat. So I'm just kind of carrying it around as a reminder of a mistake. Uh, this helmet isn't max, but it doesn't really need to be. Um, but yeah, so the idea here is to kind of make her the way a lot of us are building the holiday Euphine. I think a lot of us are building Holiday Euphine like this anyway. Though Holiday Euphine is probably going to... A lot of my better gear is on her. Um, so for one, she can be she can afford to be faster and probably tankier once I get her to max. Uh, for those of you who know, I, I tried summoning for a second copy of her. I haven't pulled her yet. Um, so I'm waiting to probably summon tomorrow. It's going to be Saturday. Um, I might summon t later tonight and then just upload the video tomorrow instead of uploading two videos today. Um, but yeah, so I'm waiting to get that, uh, to see if I get that copy. I probably will summon though, uh, just to get that copy to reduce the, the amount of fodder I need to, to max her. Um, and also the attack imprint is not going to, uh, hurt whatsoever. Uh, basically she's molded, uh, up to the effect chance here and 
uh, up to the one turn cooldown here, and then I got the Junkyard Dog. It's, all, it's obviously not maxed, but she's got 60% plus the 40%. Uh, adds up to be 100% to get at least one burn. Um, if For those of you who know probability, it's getting either or, you just add the, the percentage chances. Um, but yeah, so basically, like I said, I'm building Araminta as a sort of a, 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 a kind of a copy of what uh, Yufin eventually, and one of what she wants to end up as. Uh, obviously, she's going to be slower and, and just kind of generally lack a little more stats, but she's got higher effectiveness, which is kind of cool. As, as you can see here, there's nothing at all. I That's the only thing I kind of flubbed up on this build. Uh, she doesn't have any effectiveness, so I'll have to fix that eventually. Uh, I might run the General Pergus. You guys got to see this. So you can see here, I only have two. And well, you can't see that I don't have any more of those, um, whatever those things you get from that um, Hall of Trials to get uh, these uh, exclusive equipment. That's because I spent all of them getting a bunch of these for him and then feeding them going to the sanctuary to get this maxed one which is supposed to be this middle one but like an idiot I wasn't paying attention to which one was uh, chosen of those three so I accidentally made this uh, I accidentally made this badge so you know that's what I get for being you know kind of an idiot uh, which that sucks but you know it is what it is I'm just gonna put this on him right now just for the extra HP so he'll end up here uh, but yeah, this is my General Pergus. He's missing uh, some defense, so probably he may get to 1800, but I might t I'm going to test him out here to see how he does in PvE. Uh, but of course, I'm missing uh, some Hearts of Hypocrisy. Uh, I should have one more by the end of this week, and then next week the, the, the AP shop is going to refresh. So that's two more, and then I can just like get two somewhere else. Um, but yeah, so he'll, he'll, be, he'll be done. That gives you defense percentage, so he might hit uh, 1800 defense. Who knows? Sepulchrum is actually kind of better uh, for Wyvern, um, mathematically, uh, but yeah, probably not going to be as good as Proof of Valor or something else because I don't have it maxed, but uh, mathematically, like numerically, it's going to be better, especially because that first wave um, takes off stacks of like Proof of Valor or something. Yeah, so he's, I'm going to test him out, uh, Araminta, and like I said, my new Charles. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. Um... I might test out her. She's got a new build, a little tankier, hopefully a little speedier. I boosted this, so she's she's got kind of crap gear, but it is what it is. Uh, of course, I've been wanting to test her out for a while, but she doesn't have the gear uh, she needs. Uh, I recently got this boot, 45 speed, uh, so she's she's looking pretty good. I'm gonna run her on immunity uh, at some point. Um, probably like as soon as I get another uh, uh, abyss raid or hell raid sword. I'm going to switch her over to immunity, and then um, she'll be good. So this will be a speed, uh, and then these two are going to be immunity set, uh, and she'll be good to go. Um, but yeah, so other than that, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, you know, let's see how this goes. Uh, also, I guess another thing, it's not really uh, gear-wise, but I finally, because of this new skill system, I got to upgrade his S3 here, fully maxed, so I get to drop two horses on people if that is... Uh, in fact necessary to do so um, but other than that that's about it so let's get in there and uh, see what we can do of course problematically uh, this guild like I said it's like 570 um, so basically anything will work against uh, most of these teams uh, but you know it's still good to at least it's good to incrementally uh, test these things out so um, as long as I'm using Araminta right like you want to take her into teams like the into uh, guilds like this, where basically there's a low risk of of, of failure. Um, so let's down here looks like a pretty fun time to be using Charles because it's a lot of uh, well, there's AOE from him, uh, so hopefully he doesn't end up dead. Uh, let's do that. Let's just bring yeah, let's just bring that team. Uh, no one's attacked my uh, fortress to, uh, during this guild war. Might be a good thing. Might be a bad thing depending. Um, actually, I might want to bring a healer down there. Yeah, I probably don't want to bring a healer. Uh, not DN. Do I want to bring you? I guess I'll bring you. Uh, actually, yeah, no, I'm just probably going to bring um, uh, Ruel. Why, why risk it? Plus, she'll bait these two. Um, 
yeah so let's go with that up here I think I'm gonna test out uh, she's had some changes I made her a little faster I'm not, I, I feel like I've already uh, shown her though so let's put you here um, This looks really bad. Uh, I don't think this is really going to do anything. Lilius is going to hit us, and so is... Uh, what's her name over there? That AoE from the... the, the Whatever from this is looking pretty... It feels like it's going to be really irritating. Uh, it's always like... You always want to bring a healer in, right? For that overly cautious... Like, it, it's the skill... Like And it, it's also funny, because it's like... It's a skillful thing to go in without a healer, because it's like, oh, I know I can deal with this. Um, but of course, like bringing a healer is never going to hurt. Uh, usually, when, especially when they don't have a healer on their side. Um, but two, like the other thing I wanted to point out is like Araminta. I have a hard time running Araminta a lot of times because Tenebria does everything she does and more. Um, Araminta burns, right? Tenebria doesn't burn. But the thing is, why burn them if you can just kill them easier with Araminta with sleeps and uh, defense breaks? Because uh, Araminta, all she wants to do is kill people. She's not CCing them. She's well, she's stunning, right? On the F one with S one with a fifty percent, but she gets an eighty five, and then a seventy five sleep chance on her S three and her S two, or in her S one, and then the S two slows and uh, decreases um, whatever comet readiness. So like, all basically all Araminta wants to do is kill people, right? With burns and whatnot, and Tenebria can do that and so much more without even like breaking a sweat. Um, granted, Araminta gives it like a team-wide attack buff. Uh, Tenebria only gives herself, but it doesn't really matter because like Araminta's the damage dealer, so she's the only one who really needs the attack buff. She might be decent going in like team-based, but uh, yeah, that's something to consider. Um, but yeah, they don't have a they don't have an attacker on their side, so I want to kind of see where this goes. Probably, or they don't have a healer on their side, so I want to see where this goes. Um, yeah, but I guess. Against better judgment, maybe I should just go. Let's go with this here. Um, there's no more reason to bring her in there. Uh, so this looks pretty fun to me, anyway. Uh, we got healing, we've got uh, G perg attack buff, and uh, CR manipulation, as well as like her just generally uh, hurting everybody. Um, so let's see what happens. Uh, this down here looks pretty easy. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I feel like maybe Charles isn't gonna hit, get hit enough down there to really make his counter set uh, worth anything. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, so we outsped, uh, and this is kind of typical of like lower uh, guild, lower end guilds. Like that Lilius. I think if, for those of you who've seen like other guild wars, that Lilius tends to. Um, this is very interesting. Um, that Lilius tends to. Tends to kill me, uh, not kill me. Uh, outspeed sometimes. Just kind of interesting. I'm not sure I uh, agree with the whole like super fast Liliuses, but maybe it's like they're probably competing at a level where like even that's decently slow, um, which I find kind of interesting. Uh, so let's just do this. Give her the attack buff. I'm gonna get hit by Charles, hopefully. Okay, cool. That's one and two. Uh, so yeah, this would be great if I had the. Um, the other, what's it called? Uh, let's just hit uh, Charles. Is not. I haven't proc'd Elbrus yet, so maybe he doesn't have it. Uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, but yeah, I'm really kind of hurting for that uh, other exclusive equipment. Okay, so my Tenebrio is taking serious damage back there, but hopefully. Not anymore. Let's do this. Please stun him. Ooh, very nice. Double stun. What? What is? She? I forgot. I I should be paying attention to what artifact she has on. The fact that she got a double stun, I think, means that. <laughs> I think means that she has a. Uh, uh, let's just try to provoke you. Oh, I think the fact that she has a double stun means that uh, she has the what's it called? The abyssal crown, which is kind of annoying. But it is what it is. Uh, let's hit you. I want... Okay, so I really just need him to heal himself over time here. 
Um, but basically the point is I want him to, oh shit, I, okay. He needs to be, get, let's hit you, try to proc that counter. Uh, he needs to get higher HP than uh, Pergus, and it looks like it's not going to happen. It looks like he might actually just die, which kind of sucks. Uh, please don't die. Okay. Uh, so so I, it looks like I'm not make, doing enough damage uh, here, so which is kind of irritating. Uh, let's get rid of your skill nullifier. Okay. Okay, so we're doing some damage there. Okay, this is bad. Um, uh, this is even worse. Uh, so I guess now... Oh, very interesting. Um, let's see if he dies. Yeah, he died. Um, so this is this is obviously really bad. Um, the let's see, let's just hit you. They're gonna they can't target her, but they've got enough AOE to probably kill her. As you saw from like that first round, she took like considerable damage. Uh, from just like uh, CC's AOE, Charles's AOE, and then uh, Lilius's AOE. Um, so I think the play here was for one, have a better Tenebria build, I guess, ultimately. I was pretty lucky. And you got the. Uh... And there was no one to counterattack there, which is hilarious. Um, let's hit you, because I'll do more damage against you. Okay. So she hit me with the provoke. Of course, everybody's just gonna hit him. Um. Doesn't really matter when I use this because it can't really heal. Uh, but yeah, so let's hit this again. And. Uh, for one, I mean, it's probably, it's kind of included in the, yeah, this is going to take, this is going to hit really hard. It's kind of included in the whole, like, um, I think what a better team would have been here was probably just the, the, the Spectre, or the regular Tenebria. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, what was I saying? Um, part of the, like, it's probably, like I said, it's probably included in the, um, bring a better, uh, Spectre Tenebria build, but, like, um, mulling her is uh would have been uh very useful because right now she doesn't have any mola or she i mean she does but it's like it's not enough she's got like two molas i think <laughs> which obviously barely counts as having been molded uh okay so this is gonna hit us charles does he have his s3 yeah he already he already used it okay uh so let's hit you i think we confirmed he had the uh elbrus and then uh, this guy obviously is not going to die. So you let's see if you get the the Elbrus on the uh, on this attack here. Yeah, I think that the regular Tenebria might have been better here, just because of all the lockdown. Oof. Uh, let's see if he has the. Okay. I'd really rather not lose G-Perg, but uh, I can stand to. Let's see if I even have any... Okay, yeah, I don't really think I have any uh, chance of winning this. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so she almost died, but again, any other AoE is just going to kill her. Uh, so that was a sort of failed comp. See what happens here. Uh, so here's this. Oh, he didn't die. That's kind of weird. Let's actually, just heal him up real quick, mainly to get rid of that. Uh, that and Charles did not counter, so thanks for that. Uh, let's see if I proc the uh, counter. Let's see if I proc the counter over there on their side. Okay, looks like I didn't. Uh, let's get this. I didn't get my Alexas, which kind of sucks. Uh, but fortunately, he didn't get his, so we're kind of even, one for one. Uh, it's so nice having Charles on uh, ninety percent. Uh, uh, crit chance. Uh, I've had him below 90 since like I got him, just because like damage is so important on him. Ooh, counter attack, nice. Uh, so he d he still hits squishies pretty hard, it seems. Uh, 7k is no joke, but he's not like a main damage dealer that can be used uh, without uh, some consequence at least. Uh, so I think. 
He's going to come back. This is probably a bad idea to burn this. Maybe I should have just uh, S1, but uh, it is what it is. So let's let's just get in there. Um, because she's going to bring back Arbiter, which is going to be annoying. Okay. Um... Okay, I forgot to turn this off. Um, let's hit you, see how much damage I can get on you. Wow, that is a lot of damage. That is one squishy, um, what's her name, 4k? Yeah, I really shouldn't do as much damage as it's doing. And of course, we got the, and he didn't proc the, the counter, which is uh, excessively irritating. So she's going to heal herself, which, okay. Um, so he hit the two people I wanted, and I got the counter. Uh, fortunately, he's invulnerable, um, which is fine. Okay, let's see if I get the, uh, did not get the greater attack Brock there. Ooh, nice. And, of course. Okay, good. Um, let's hit you. S1, 2, S2, nice, nice. Okay, so she's gonna hit her. Okay, so we're we're sort of in the clear here. Uh, it's pretty stressful, honestly. Okay, and that yeah, so she was gonna hit him. Uh, very nice. I I got the kill on Arbiter, so I get to do this again. Uh, now it's just a simple matter of trying to kill her without her killing us. Is she on counter? She might not be. Did she counter? Uh, well, the, the issue now is I'm not doing enough damage. Wow, this is this is one tanky uh, A Ravi. Okay, finally got the greater attack buff. 93. Let's hit you with this. This should do major damage because they don't have any, um... It's only one last unit here. So what kind of damage I'm hitting for? 45? It's not bad, but uh, I, I am kind of missing his old damage. Um, doo -doo -doo. let's get that. So I took her S3 full force and uh, nothing really came out of it, so I think we're good. Combat readiness. So yeah, she should be dead now. So she's missing. Uh, there you go. So the see, that's what I mean. Is the attack buff, the great, I got the greater attack buff for two turns in a row because of that. Uh, and that uh, made this a little easier. Um, I think... I feel for how tanky Charles is... He, I mean, how tanky he should be. Um, he took way too much damage in that fight. Which kind of annoys me, because it's like, what's the... What's the... What's the word? What's the recourse for that? You know, like, what am I supposed to do then? Uh, let's put you here to bait that. Uh, I think this might work, actually. Um, except for, like, her. She's going to be irritating as hell. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what to do against that. Um, down here, again, she's going to work. Do, yeah, okay, I think I'll, I'll take this down here. This looks fine. Um, yeah, how do I, how do I counter uh, her? I guess I need grass. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. or a decent cleanser, but I, I just lost uh, DJ Basar. I guess you're gonna have to do. Uh, she is gonna hit one of these two. She's probably gonna be get get lower, so I just need to make sure she stays healed. Uh, she is gonna focus on her because not her, and then he is gonna focus on him. Uh, so. This whole thing looks fine. I should probably, oh, actually, probably, yeah, I'm probably just gonna bring um, SSB down up here. Uh, again, we're probably gonna win, so I think I wanna test out my uh, Spectre Tenebria a little bit more. Um, yeah, I think maybe I should probably do that. I should stick with that plan. Um, 
Hmm. I mean, it might just be an easy... Yeah, I mean, SSB is probably just going to be the easiest way to deal with this. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, basically it's a guaranteed win with SSB there, so let's just see how this goes. Uh, the only thing that irritates me down here is uh, her... I mean, let's just go in there. Uh, again, if we lose, we're, it's low stakes. Um, but I say that even though I've lost a few uh, in the higher stake matches, but, um, you know, take that as you will, I guess. Uh, let's see, okay, so she got that. Uh, fortunately, she got both of those on her. Okay, so she's going to get 80% uh, CR from this, which is good, because now I can just clean the, um, what's it called, off of her. Uh, I get the CR boost from here. Uh, so let us hit. They don't have healing, so I can just basically every all my damage here is permanent. Where theirs is not. Uh, she's only got like seventy something crit, so uh, very good, very good. Okay, let's go with this. Okay, so I stunned her, which is good, kind of. Um, Actually, now I do. I do wonder now um, if if uh, my oh, I probably shouldn't have done that just because he was the only one low. So now she's gonna hit. Yeah. Oh, cool. So he's stunned, which is fine. Doesn't really matter. He's just here to take hits. Um, now she. Now he's debuffed or uh, whatever. Uh, I need to focus on her because she's gonna start lapping like crazy. Okay, so that's good. Uh, let's hit you. Oh, very nice. Oh, nice. Let's hit you again. There we go. And the dual attack. That's very nice. Uh, she's going to hit and bring him along. Very cool, very cool. Okay, and now, fortunately, she's got me um, hitting her. Let's do this again. Um, just because... Um, I'm still... I'm not sure he can survive. I mean, I think he should. I don't... Um, I don't foresee him not. Uh, and then she's dead. Okay, so she just falls over. Okay, perfect. Oh my gosh, uh, G Perg makes things so much easier. Uh, that first team was just, uh, I guess it was a combination of, like, not enough healing on my part and, uh, improperly baiting units. Um, but yeah, so, you know, take that as you will. Uh, G Perg is, uh, legendary, uh, in the right comps. Um, and not in the not right comps. Okay, dual attack. Oh, that means I have my ult ready, so let's... Uh, S3, I guess, I mean, he's got, he's, he's probably got a decent effectiveness, so... Let's just hit him. I have the, the Abyssal Crown as well, so let's see if uh, any of them land on him. And of course I can get the crit again. Yeah, so he's got like, insane resistance. Let's see if he can survive this. Oh, very nice. Okay, so basically I have nothing to worry about. No one can die now. Um, so let's just focus on uh, this lady over here. Uh, let's heal you up. Uh, let's do... Let's do this. Actually, I wonder if we can do enough damage to uh, Corvus here. I guess we'll just have to stack up like an insane amount of these uh, uh, souls. Very nice. Uh, so let's go hit her again. Actually, let's hit this. Uh, I think I'm going to hopefully. Let's let's see. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, the AI is kind of stupid. I think, um, the, like, if they just update Corvus's AI, like, we'll probably be in a lot of trouble. Um, let's do this. Uh, because then it's like, she's probably gonna die. He's probably gonna S3 a lot more. Um, 
random targets is the, kind of the problem. Because I mean, he probably just kill Montmorency. Uh, he just doesn't like attack her. Um, but now we're kind of uh, in a pickle here because I think he can just keep sustaining off of his S, uh, his S3. Um, but yeah, let's just keep hitting him. Hopefully he dies, gets a stun, or we get a stun or something. Okay, so let's let's see this again. Let's see if he. Uh... So he's a he's a little lower. So he's got 17. Okay, so we're we're slowly chipping away because before he would uh, go all, uh, just max HP. Uh, but it looks like we're we're doing we're doing something. We're doing something. Uh, fortunately, my Tenebria here is. Um, damn, that Pergus has more crit chance than I really <laughs> am okay with him having. For some reason, he, he's critting a lot. Um, but yeah. So I guess I'm just gonna have to soul burn this out. Uh, I'll come back once I have enough souls to just kill him. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna pause this for now. Okay, so here we are. Let's uh, take a look and see if uh, I can just kill him. Uh, I'm missing a soul burn. I think I might be able to get the last one on. Uh, well, actually, you only get one per, and I don't think we're we're close enough to it. Oh, hold on. I only have one per. And I don't think we're close enough to it. Yeah, one soul per. Um, poison. Uh, so yeah, let's just keep hitting him. Uh, let's do this. Oh, and he just died on the first one. Okay. Yeah, so that's that. Let's go see what the next one is. As you can see up there in the right hand corner, I actually took uh, so long it was offering me the draw. I had forgotten about that. Okay, that's fine. Um, regardless, it's okay. Uh, let's just hit everybody with this. Um, yeah, so this, I mean, that's part of the reason why I want the. Um, uh, I'd also like the uh, Charles faster. Um, it doesn't happen that often. Not everybody has like a. A way to to just like not everybody's AI acts the way his AI does, but uh, uh, of course the S3. For those of you keeping track at home, there the S3 does not. Uh, let's kill you, uh, Charles. The S3 does not trigger or does not have that clause that it doesn't um, trigger dual attacks. And of course we crit the uh, Tenebria and she's dead. Okay, cool. So basically, I mean, that was like the biggest threat is because she could dual attack and uh, problems come out of that. The other threat was is going to be her. Uh, and he just died, so we got lucky with the... Um, uh, through the crit chance proc there and the evasion, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then she's dead. Oh no, I didn't get the uh, dual attack or the second attack there. Uh, of course I get this, uh, and that's it. Uh, it's kind of sad though, like... RB already has a hard time critting. He's got like uh, 78 crit chance. Um, but yeah. So that's nice. Okay. Uh, that artifact that... Or the artifact, the exclusive equipment that G-Perg has right now is the one... I, I think, you know, obviously you guys saw when I when I put it on him right now. Uh, is the one that... Uh, gives him a defense buff when he gets hit, right? Um, let's see. What can I bring up here? This looks fine, I think. Uh, she's going to go after her... Uh, so maybe uh, da, da, da. well uh, actually you know what I should probably bring fire up here so I'll put a fire unit uh, I don't have a fire healer uh, let's hope uh, I need a fire healer really badly um so yeah, the problem I'm having, obviously, is that, I mean, I might just be able to, like, out, what's the word, uh, out uh, effect battle that clurry, but it's still not something you want to have happen too often. Um, yeah, I really should have had a argument. This is, this is another example of one, like, Regular fire tenebria might just be better than uh, spectre tenebria because like I could just hit all of these guys constantly uh, What are you doing here? Let's see uh, 
I am going to, uh, where is the, there you are. I'm going to bring you, even though she might get debuffed. Let's bring Araminta to the last one here. Um, yeah, it looks fine. Down here, this looks pretty dumb. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks, but I don't like it. Um, yeah, I don't like what's going on down here. Uh, uh, not much else to it, but to do it, I guess. Uh, who would be good? I mean, if I oh my my uh, champions or auto would be good, but I haven't got back. I haven't got him back yet from the um. The, what's it called? Uh, the recall thing, whatever. I put in. I had a uh, uh, ML Zerato dupe inside of my ML Zerato when I recalled him, so I'm just waiting for them to get back to me on that. Um, yeah, whenever they do, I haven't gotten an email back or anything. Um, but yeah, let's, um, I guess let me know if any of you guys have done that already. If you got it back, maybe mine is just taking forever for some reason. I think I like this up here. Problem is, these pr these guys probably have enough effectiveness to uh, really do damage to her. And the speed buff from this guy is not cool whatsoever. Um, but yeah, let's just, let's just go in there. Uh, if anything... Arby's gonna die and then uh, just kill them back, I guess. Uh, so let's go see. Okay, I shouldn't have any kind of effectiveness really. Um, let's hit you. So she's got low crit, which is kind of one of the reasons I'm using her here. Is uh, she's not gonna? So hopefully she's not gonna crit the. Uh, oh, she's actually got 75% crit. I forgot I didn't take like all her crit off of her. Uh, so we're, we're, let's just do this. Uh, this is a bad idea, but that's fine. And of course I crit that guy. He's got the attack buff, so this is going to hurt a lot. Yeah, she just died. Uh, so that sucks. I don't think we can win this anymore. I don't have any, uh, damage. And I don't think I could have won this to begin with, considering I didn't have any damage at all. Damn, that dude hits harder than, uh, well, not harder, but, like, he hits almost as hard as, uh, Corvus with his S3 on just his S2 counter. Um, I'm probably just gonna leave right now. I just wanna see how this kind of, what goes on here. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's looking like, um, yeah, so it's looking like we lost this one. Um, That was kind of an experiment too to, to really think about uh, Euphine. Euphine probably would have gone a lot better here just because of the simple fact that like you my Euphine only has like 45 crit chance. Um, I don't know if she would have not crit him. She probably still would have crit him and died. Um, but I think maybe like a, a Crow here would have been better uh, so that she wouldn't have. She like barely died, so maybe a Crow here would have been better to soak up that hit and then have her heal or something like that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, uh, learn from that, I guess. Uh, what else? Yeah, I mean that was the main thing. It's just her. Uh, fire, fire Tenebria probably wouldn't have done much either. Reg Tenny, because uh, I probably would have crit him on the S three, or maybe just kind of. I mean, I could have just the the one of the greatest things about uh, Fire Tenebria is her versatility, right? So if I had Fire Tenebria here, obviously you don't want to S three because one you might crit him, right? And then two. Um, he had immunity, right? Uh, so what Fire Tenebria allows you to do is just, okay, well, let me hit, you know, Clurry here, uh, Flurry here, um, sleep her, you know, possibly, right? But sleep her, get the CR push, which is like 50, I forgot what it is, like 50% CR push, um, which puts you probably behind Ken for him to do his S3, and then you go ahead and do your, uh, once he does his S3, you go ahead and do your S3 after his immunity's worn off. And you proceed to do whatever you're going to do from there. Uh, which is really what's great about Fire Tenebria is like the ability to go AoE and then the ability to, to, to not go AoE uh, at, at a moment's notice. Um, yeah, it's just it's just amazing. Like, honestly, like if you don't have her built, I really do suggest building her. The reason, and you might just want to take that off. Um, you might want to switch her, her thing on her. The reason... Like, if you see me, I'll hesitate to do that sometimes to just uh, turn one S1 uh, because I have Etika Scepter on her, and you really want that cooldown to be like kicking in as soon as possible, right? So, you want to burn your S3 as soon as possible so you can get 
the Etika chance procs, you know, as fast as possible to get that up again. Um, but, you know, like I said, that's just sort of being greedy for no real reason. Uh, so that didn't turn out very well. Let's uh, move on here. Uh, so let's see how this turns out. So you're going to go. She's going to go. I think she gets the immunity. Okay, so yeah, so th that's what I was afraid of is uh, them having enough effectiveness that, like, if you're running a team like this, you're obviously just going to stack all the effectiveness you can. Um, and it wasn't enough. So she has it all, but she doesn't, which is kind of interesting. So let's go see what this does. Uh, I need to be careful, kind of, from now on, because if I don't kill Araminta with this, which I did, which is... Oh, I did not, actually. Um, Charles is stunned over there. Uh, if I don't kill... Let's... Uh, I don't know who sh She's going to stun probably her. I mean, maybe him. I really do think she's going to stun him, but... Let's... I'm just gonna hit her just because I really want her dead because she's gonna kill. Okay, so she's yeah, so basically losing a lot of damage potential here. Oh, he resisted that. Holy shit. It's ridiculous. Ah, he couldn't survive. Um, it's okay, it's okay. I have the uh, S3. Uh, the, the Ruel S3 here. Ooh, this is really bad. They're laughing. Um. Okay. So when is wait when is his turn? I think she has her S three up again. Oh, it doesn't really matter because now I can just do this. Um, she might just lap him. She's like really she's like really encroaching on him and it's like bothering me. Uh, let's see what this does. Ooh, okay, <laughs> that that would have ended me because I think she can go again. Um, yeah, she can do her S three again. Okay, so we we won this on <laughs> RNG, I'd say. Uh, not too proud to uh, admit that. Uh, so there we go. Um, decently well. Uh, support comps. Uh, Araminta is never a good thing to bring in. Um, but a sort of, like I said, it's sort of like a uh, numbers check to see what kind of stuff I can do with fire. Um, I also, I mean, for one, I'm, I'm thanks to Holiday Euphine, I'm really starting to get more interested in, in burns and what their uh, effects have. So I've been taking a look at, uh, where is she? Fire, uh, fire, fire, uh, where's her? Actually, uh, Cirilla is probably interesting too about that. She's got uh, two burn. Yeah, 85, what's that, 100%? Yeah, 100% to inflict two burns after dispelling debuff. So this looks pretty interesting. The problem is this is a uh, um, single target, uh, which in Guild Wars is pretty good, right? Because single target uh, in Guild Wars is, is quite strong. Uh, but you also need tankiness, and uh, who's better for burning and tanking than uh, everybody's favorite specialty change, uh, SC Carrot. Uh, I had her already, um, well, I didn't have her 6 starred but I had her 5 starred um, But yeah, this is kind of her build, it's kind of lackluster. Uh, yeah, way too much crit chance, way too much crit damage, uh, not of speed. The fact that like you can just punch her and get burned and she gets a barrier and she's kind of tanky makes up for like a little bit of lack of speed, but lack of speed is really going to hurt you a lot in the in the long run. Um, so probably just going to move all of Araminta's gear to her, uh, but I want to kind of just play around see how see how all this stuff uh, turns out. But um, yeah, Araminta is just there because she's been six starred since forever, so I was like, oh, let me just throw on her and see what kind of numbers I can get. But as you can see, she didn't even perform. Uh, period at all um so yeah uh like i'm saying uh thanks to like holiday euphine i've been sort of looking into burns and and, and uh what kind of stuff because uh and i guess this is sort of getting off topic of the um the guild war stuff but uh just something to point out as our our equipment grade tends to go up more uh, i think a lot of us are noticing like your damage goes up more and there's no denying that uh but defense armor and tankiness are going up equally as high and it's really, it's getting hard to like keep up with that. Um, of course, cleave teams always exist. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. Like it's hard to out tank a cleave team still. Um, but it's important to realize that to, to a large degree, as uh, we get more uh, defense, because defense offers 
um, damage reduction, right? So as defense begins to stack up more, uh, the percentage of damage is reducing increases more. So it's more effective the more damage you do to them, right? So they're actually getting a better benefit the more our gear goes up. Um, like defense stat is going to be a bigger thing in that in that sense, right? So as defense goes up, damage reduction is reduced by a percentage. Uh, and as general gear goes up, general defense stats start going up. And attack stats going up, but like, you know, 50% of what we used to have was like 4,000 was decent, but we're getting to the point where, you know, maybe 6,000 is like, okay, that's, that's, that's a, that's a number that like, oh, this is my damage dealer. This is, he's here to do damage. He does 6,000. He has 6,000 attack, um, bunch of crit, crit damage, you know, still 300 something, you know, damage dealers now are, are hitting those things, especially like in legend arena. Like obviously I'm not there, um, but that stuff starts to trickle down over time. Right. So down here, uh, 4,000 is pretty decent, but you know, 4,000 with like 300 crit damage. Uh, but down here, it's gonna we're we're gonna start seeing maybe 5,000 with 300 crit damage, three maybe over that. And then, uh, like I say, at the legend, there's gonna be people with 6,000, 600, 6,500 6, 6, with all that stats. Um, so the point is, um, generally stats go up, and as attack stats go up, let's say it doesn't work this way exactly, right? But let's pretend for a second that. Um, this guy is going to hit me for 4,000 damage on down here, right? So he's going to hit me 4,000 attack, 4,000 damage, whatever. Uh, and my armor reduces 50% of that. 50% of 4,000, right, is going to be 2,000. So I'm reducing 2,000 damage. As the armor goes up and as the damage goes up, armor becomes a lot more valuable. So let's say now um, we're at the 6,000 mark, right? Now I have enough armor to reach a, th uh, reach a threshold that reduces the damage by 60%. 60% of 6,000 is what? Uh, if it is 3,000, uh, another 10%, 3,300, right? Yeah. 10% of 600. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's 3,600. So you're reducing this theoretical and this numeric thing, right? You're reducing that damage by 3,600 which is a bigger chunk than uh, what you did before where you're reducing 2,000, right? Um, of course, like these numbers are scalable. So once we do understand, like I, as far as I've seen, I haven't found like a formula or any sort of, um, yeah, basically just a formula for how damage scaling uh, reduces uh, incoming damage. Um, but that, I mean, that's something that we'll learn. But if, if it reduces damage per percentage, all the, everything I just said is scalable. Uh, so as soon as we find out those multipliers, we're be we're going to begin to realize that um, you know how much defense is going to go up. This is why defense break is always going to be one of the more important um, debuffs in the game. Uh, but anyway, so that's a, that's sort of a long uh, rambly way of saying what I'm trying to get to is that defense penetration, like you know, it's why SSB has been so scalable and is going to be so scalable going forward, is you're running the 6,000, they're reducing it by a certain amount, depending on whatever their armor is. Like I said, it's probably not up to 50, 60%, uh, but armor, you know, you know, whatever it's reducing it by a percentage, you're getting a lot of that through because you're a flat amount of your def uh, of your defense is just going to be hitting attack because of the, uh, the, the drink scaling just hits straight, uh, penetrates the defense. Right. Um, so thanks to that, I've been thinking about, uh, burn a lot because burn, um, Burn deals damage according to your attack, 60% uh, of it, and it penetrates defense, right? So as defense numbers tend to increase more dramatically, uh, burn starts to pick up a little more because now you're penetrating a whole lot more defense that you know a straight-up damage dealer might have a hard time uh, fighting against. Um, but that's, this is probably its own video. But like I said, that's kind of my reasoning, my thought process, and 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 um so on or whatever you're you know uh regarding why i'm sort of starting to get more interested in burns uh bleeds are very similar uh problematically though um they they often require you stacking a few bleeds and they don't like they don't stick around long enough so the fact that like it's it's smaller damage per bleed over time like one bleed is 30%, right? Where one burn tick is 60%. 
the thing is where a lot of burn people do one to two burns bleed people do two to four burns right so it's just doubling that number uh and then re doubling the number of procs and reducing what's getting penetrated um but like the fact that like bleed does takes longer to go through uh makes it a little less valuable and, and the fact that you have to land more bleeds means that you're probably not going to land them because uh the 15 percent whatever um is inevitably going to screw you over all the time of, of effect resistance so you're it's an uphill battle with bleeds considering like you need to stack a bunch of them uh whereas burns it's like one burn and you know one or two burns and that dude's gonna die in a turn or two um uh, and then you, you have things like uh, poison which poison works based off of enemy health scaling um and it's gonna work no matter what so you're gonna be hitting somebody for uh 10 or five percent i forget what the percentage is five or ten percent of their hp so let's see if we can find of their hp and that's gonna that's gonna increase it's gonna scale as people's hps get higher their hp uh, pools get higher five percent of max health and they, they're usually two turns right yeah for two turns inflicting two poisons so, so she has like two poisons other people have uh like Genibria has a one poison uh so they're taking ten percent uh but they're really realistically they're only gonna hit one percent one of them right so they're only gonna take ten percent so you can see here she's not molded um whatsoever um got a mole of that uh but she's only got a one bleed poison for two turns so that's they're taking 10 percent uh but realistically they're gonna take five and then they're gonna cleanse it or do something about it um and health pools are currently not like they're not outrageous enough that like oh you know bleed stacking is like a huge deal um where like the, the way it is in abyss where health is so ludicrous that like health stacking is really going to do a huge amount of damage compared to what you, know, you could do on her as you can see here, this build, uh, this build is similar to a lot of like higher end builds. Obviously, with lower stats, they could probably hit more closer to three hundred damage, three hundred crit damage. Uh, this speed is what you end up seeing. Obviously, better crit chance. Uh, a lot of people run it with a little bit lower uh, health, uh, a little bit lower uh, defense. Especially the defense, you're not so worried about because like you'll get defense from this. Um, but uh, a little more attacks. You probably want to hit like 3,200 attacks. So, I mean, for me, the ideal uh, Spectre Tenebria build is going to be on my Tenebria. Um, basically, right. Like, this is like... Like, I really wish I could just swap this gear onto Spectre Tenebria. But uh, Tenebria is way too useful to just swap this off. So, I'm I'm running my, Tenebria, my Spectre Tenebria sort of uh, gimped until... Uh, something around what this is is uh, available which is going to be a long while because i have to wait for another abyss sword which like get in line right so lilius needs one uh she needs one uh she does have two pieces of blue gear but I mean, look at these stats. Like this is this is a competitive uh, Alencia. Obviously, you want to be pushing uh, like 2,200 HP. But like I said, this will be you know as soon as I replace this with a uh, Abyss Sword, um, that's easier to hit. Uh, that's within range. Um, speed. You want speed to be anywhere between 180 to 200 because you want to you want her decently fast, but you don't want her to outspeed uh, buffers. So that way she can strip the buffs. Um, yeah. So like 2,200 health. Uh, this boot here has 19% HP, 7% crit chance, and uh, attack is, you know, really care, but defense. This, this boot is really good, uh, but, you know, I, obviously you can't afford to, like, um, reforge this, because that's stupid. Um, but anyway, like, yeah, so, 6% crit chance. This, this, basically, this is what I want her to be, but, like, obviously maybe 80, like, at least 85 crit chance, uh, which will be fixed when I get the new sword um when this gets any sort of crit chance on it this this is a horrible uh necklace but there's really nothing else i can run on her at the moment so she's kind of stuck with this um hopefully i get a new boot with more crit chance that i can reforge so it's at least one point of crit uh and then you know maybe it'll roll another one um like if i were to reforge this one if i get another boot that has seven crit chance that's a plus two to crit chance here and that's already up to 75 which is pretty good you're looking pretty good there and maybe you get like 10% here and you're at 85 and you're good to go, right? There's no, you know, 85%, you're solid. Uh, the, the biggest problem I have, so my theoretical perfect build would her, for her would be like 13k defense. Uh, any more is like uh, icing on the cake in that sense. 
Uh, 22,000 uh, HP is good. I have her at 180. Like I said, I want, you want her between 180 and 200. So for me, I want her to reach uh, 190. Um, she's going to get more speed from this as well as, uh, I mean, hopefully the, the sword rolls decently well. Uh, hopefully this gets some speed. Oh, she's missing five from the reforge here. So it's already 186 and I just need to find four more speed. Uh, and then this, I'm going to boost this. So this is going to give me health, defense, and uh, more crit chance. So that's at least another percent. Uh, and then, you know, no speed off of this. Um, I should probably not... I should probably just replace this piece. But, like, I really do like the substats on this. Maybe not even reforge it. Just wait till I get something better. Um, but, yeah. So, you know, that's my ideal build. Uh, of course, I, you want more crit damage and more effectiveness. But I think crit damage... I want crit damage more than effectiveness. And I think effectiveness, you, you kind of want to, like... A lot of people are, uh, will try to tell you to run crit, uh, to run effectiveness on her, uh, but I really do think that's a red herring in this situation, because um, for one, you're never going to get enough effectiveness on her to strip people that it's hard to strip, right? So you're never going to strip like your 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 like Dn's never going to get stripped, um, Ruel's never going to get stripped. Like these people, like you're never going to get that much effectiveness. If you are, your Alentia's not going to do what she needs to do, which is be fast, tanky, and hit people really hard. Um, Right, so I think effectiveness would be great on her uh, if you can get some, but it's not something I think you should be prioritizing. Uh, but crit damage, in, on the other hand, I want her to get to uh, 268 crit chan uh, crit damage uh, because with a maxed with a maxed Draco plate, that's 300 crit damage in total, which uh, I don't know. It's just a nice number to have, <laughs> just nice round uh, 300. So that's what I want. Um, but yeah, I mean, just any crit chance, any crit damage you can get, probably over two hundred is what is just solid. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm sort of rambling on about other um, builds and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I've uh, just sort of that was the point was um, there's not enough abyss swords to go around. I only have like three of them because uh, yeah, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, hopefully, I have something to show you guys during the next uh, Guild War. But it uh, looks like this is the last one of the season. Uh, I don't know when the new season starts. I mean, it might just be a simple thing of like, oh, just today it's over, and then Monday we're back into like the new Guild War season. I, I don't remember how this stuff works, just because I don't, I never pay attention except for this time, because um, I'm in a guild that actually has like a Discord and all that, and then they've been talking about it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully everybody got uh, the place they wanted to in terms of uh, guild ranking and all that. Um, I I certainly did uh, pretty decent. Uh, at, at some points, at some points, um, I think these last few, uh, it'd be sort of narcissistic to believe that like we end up losing or, or my losses in particular mean a lot. Um, but I, I haven't been really too satisfied with my performance these last ones, but, um, yeah, hopefully going into next season, uh, we can do a lot better. Um, but yeah, so that's it for today. Sort of rambling on now.